Hello film enthusiasts. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. Today, we're going to explore three creative video editing tricks in Filmora 12 that will help you take your videos to the next level. These tricks are easy to execute and will make your footage stand out from the rest. So let's move on to our first video editing trick. 1. Dolly Zoom Effect. This is a technique that involves zooming in or out while simultaneously moving the camera either forward or backward at the same rate, resulting in a distorted, surreal image. It was famously used in Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo to convey a sense of disorientation. To achieve this effect, you have to record a similar zoom video with your camera. And then the video has to be imported into Filmora Media. After importing the video, drag and drop it onto the timeline. First we have to go to Project Settings. And from here you have to do your project settings. From here I select the resolution for my video as 3840 by 2164 k UHD. And I keep the frame rate at 60 FPS. The 4K UHD resolution offers 4 times as many pixels as a full HD video, resulting in a sharp and detailed image quality. The free download link of this video clip is in the description. After doing this, double-click on that video on the timeline. Go to the basic section of the video, and from here add an empty keyframe at the start of the video. Then move the playhead to the end of the video. And add an empty keyframe here too. You can see that we have video zoom at the end of this video. I will use keyframe animation to zoom the start of this video equal to the end zoom. To measure it equally, I always use the Show Safe Zones option. This gives me an accurate idea of how to accurately measure any object. I move the playhead to the first keyframe. And in this keyframe, I increase the size of the video. As I have already told you that we zoom the start of the video as much as the end. And its position is to be in the center. Keep moving the playhead forward slowly, adjusting the size of the object wherever needed through keyframe animation. So with that our dolly zoom effect is ready. Let's see a final preview of it. Two, reverse effect of jumping into water. This is a type of reverse jump cut, where the action appears to jump backwards in time and then reverse in slow motion. It's a popular effect used in action films and music videos. 
To achieve this effect, I have a video of a person jumping into water. You should also have a video like this. The free download link of this video clip is in the description. I have already dragged this video to the timeline. Now I select this video, and click on Speed Tool. From here I click on the Reverse option at the bottom. So this video has been reversed with us. Now I split this video from the water waves to the jump. And this part of the video I copy. And paste the copied video part here. And then I slow down the speed of the pasted part by 0.5x. At the start of the video pasted here we are going to add a transition, which will make this scene even more stunning. Go to Transitions tab and click on it. Search for the dissolved transition here. Drag and drop this transition between the two jumps clips. Set the duration of the transition according to your scene. Now we are going to adjust its audio. So for that, double click on the video. Go to the audio tab. From here I just adjust its volume. I increase the audio volume by 5 dB. And similarly, I keep the audio volume value of the rest of the clips at 5 dB. So after doing all that, we created some awesome effects of reverse and slow motion. Three, text animation behind body trick. This is a technique where text appears to be moving or changing in response to the movement of a person's body on screen. It can create a sense of visual poetry or synergy between the text and the subject of the video. To achieve this effect, I have a video in media. I drag and drop it on the timeline. This video I have is something like this. The free download link of this video is in the description. In this video, I will apply text animation in the background of the girl. Go to Titles and click on it. From here I will add a neon title of my choice to the timeline. From here the title I drag and drop onto the timeline is called Neon Title 09. To edit the text, double click it. Write what needs to be written here. After editing the text, I now create a custom animation in that text. So for that, go to the video tab above. Add an empty keyframe to the start of the title from here. Then move the playhead forward a bit. About half a second here I've forwarded. After adding both empty keyframes, click on the first keyframe to select it. And in this keyframe I disappear by moving the text position to the bottom of the screen. After that, now I also create an out animation. So for that, move the playhead forward a few seconds. And add a keyframe here.
For the next keyframe, move the playhead forward about half a second, and move the text position in this keyframe to the top of the screen to exit the text. This title I split with the last keyframe. Delete the second part of this title, and then move the last two keyframes of that title to end. I copy this title. And then paste it twice on the video. I edit the text of both these titles. After editing the titles, go to media. And from here drag and drop the same video again into the track above the timeline. Select this video. Go to background removing tools, and here click on iPortrait tool. So with that we created this kind of text animation behind the body. That's it for today's video on 3 creative video editing tricks in Filmora 12. We hope you found these tips useful and will implement them in your next project. And, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you next time.